Welcome back. A strong parks and recreation system is essential for a thriving community. Our parks are such a stable influence on our lives that we tend to not give them much thought. But effective parks and recreation facilities do not just happen on their own. They require professional care and financial support to keep them clean, safe, and suitable for the community they serve. Our Parks Department does an exceptional job of not only maintaining our parks, but expanding and improving them as well. One of our largest park projects this winter is currently underway at Columbia Playfield. The facility is located just east of Richland High School and is approximately 30 acres in size. There are four separate projects occurring in Columbia Playfield this winter, and when the work is completed this spring, Columbia Playfield will be elevated to one of the premier softball venues in our region. Well, Columbia Playfield, it has a four-field softball complex. Uh, of course, George Prout Pool, which has our 25-yard pool and dive tank and one of the older Little League fields in town. There's a couple parking lots, one up by off of Swift Boulevard, and then there's another one off of Mansfield by, that splits the softball and Little League fields. The existing Little League field, um, which belonged to Richland National Little League, has been completely torn down. Um, we're get, gonna be converting that to a new softball field. So there'll actually be five softball fields that will really help us bring in larger tournaments, bigger tournaments such as a regional, maybe even a national, because we'll have the five fields there to host more teams instead of just the four fields. That field is also then going to become the home field for the uh, Richland High School Bombers girls fast pitch team. Um, so we're working, the city's working in conjunction with the high school to make this kind of a really first class field. We're talking about. Uh, actually sunken dugouts and concrete bleachers uh, with seating and so forth for about 200 people. We're taking the stormwater ditch that's between Mansfield up to Swift Boulevard. We're going to be putting in a 48 inch culvert and then burying that culvert, um, filling up the entire ditch and then we'll be building an access road and additional parking to connect the, the parking lot from Swift Boulevard to the parking lot down on Mansfield. It's a project we got some lodging tax funds for. Um, this will actually help provide additional parking that's greatly needed down at uh, Columbia Playfield. With that, we'll add probably about 38 new parking spaces, along with 10 parking spaces for RV vehicles during tournament time. There's four fields there, and we can have some pretty good sized tournaments of, you know, 24 teams, 36 teams on a, you know, three or four day weekend, maybe during the summer. With that one additional field, you could probably get 10, 12 more teams there, which means more heads to beds in the hotels, more users into the restaurants, um, the grocery stores, everything. Um, so it really helps the overall economy by having a complex that has five fields, getting that many more teams to where they don't have to go to Kennewick or to Pasco to play some of the games or even maybe even the Horn Rapids where you can do everything in one complex for maybe a 36 to 48 team tournament all in one spot, um, it just makes it a lot more attractive to bring tournaments in like that. One, two, three, this is it! A new parking lot for 48 cars will be constructed west of George Prout Pool with the entrance off of Long Street, and all four of these projects will be completed by the spring. These projects almost complete the city's master plan for Columbia Playfield. The two remaining projects include reconstructing the old basketball court and adding some sort of water play area to George Prout Pool. The start of those projects is depending on the availability of funds.